Today, I want to talk to you about why Cerebris is the best platform for getting you to state-of-the-art Gen AI results. And this all comes back to Cerebris' ease of scaling, which is key not only for running these large models, but also for getting to the best model quality. Now, let's talk about why that is. Well, when you're running these large models, you're often hoping that what you're going to see is a nice, smooth loss curve telling you that your model is converging to the published results. But in reality, what you'll probably run into first are out-of-memory issues, model divergence problems, and even once you get it going, you may never converge to the state-of-the-art accuracy. And that's just the nature of these large Gen AI models. They're inherently complicated to work with. Beyond just the distribution problem to get the model running, it takes quite a lot of work and dealing with a lot of ML complexity to make sure these runs are good. These large models have so many parameters that they're often extremely sensitive to the exact way in which they've been tuned. And so what that means is that if you have a data problem or a precision problem, or your learning rate schedule isn't tuned quite right, these can all cause small numerical issues that at this scale can accumulate and make your model explode. This means that it's often really hard for you to get to really high model quality for your own data just by using published hyperparameters out of the box. And this wouldn't be such a big deal, this iteration and learning and experimenting, except these runs are also extremely expensive. Large model runs can cost hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. And so there's quite a lot of time and cost writing on getting this big run right. Now, obviously, we still have lots of amazing models out there. So what are people doing about this? And the ML experts, how they address this is by first designing and running lots of experiments on smaller models first. They'll then pick the winning hyperparameters that get the small model to good accuracy. And then they'll scale this up to a larger model and refine this tuning for large model dynamics. They'll iterate on this loop, learning as they go, until they get to a confident configuration for the biggest model. And the way to think about this process is that you never want to be spending a 30 billion parameter run for insights that you could have learned at 1 billion or 7 billion parameters. And so, as you test on larger and larger models, you get higher and higher confidence that your configuration is good for the largest model. But on GPUs, this process that's supposed to save you work actually is itself a lot of work. On GPUs, each time you move to a larger model, you have to refactor your code and deal with increasingly complicated parallelism in order to get it to work on a larger cluster. Even if you use a state-of-the-art distribution framework like Megatron, you are still responsible for managing the distribution strategy. You're responsible for configuring tensor parallelism, pipeline parallelism, expert parallelism, sequence parallelism. You're responsible for setting up interleaved pipelining schedules and for figuring out when to evict and recompute activations to further save on memory. You need to learn how to use 20,000 lines of code, and there's some C++ in there, there's some CUDA in there, and every single time you want to run a scaling experiment or even just tune your model architecture, you have to reconfigure the setup and debug your code again. Now look, these frameworks are amazing. They've been written by crack engineers, and you could absolutely learn how to do all these different types of parallelism or hire yourself a team to deal with these distribution problems. Or you could just not have distribution problems. With Cerebris, all of this goes away. On Cerebris, if you're trying to run a 175 billion parameter GPT model, it's only 565 lines of PyTorch code. And that's it. No CUDA. No CUDA. Thank you. <laughs> on Cerebris, as you're scaling from a 1 billion parameter model on the left, to this 70 billion parameter model on the right, all you are changing is the size of your layers, the number of layers, and the number of heads. 
And because you never have to change your underlying model code, you can actually configure all of this just from a config file. And when you start to need more compute, because you've made your model 70 times larger, all you need to do to scale to a larger cluster is change a single number in your run command. And more Cerebrus nodes will automatically hop online, and you can continue to use your now larger Cerebrus cluster, still as if it's just a single device. So not only can you do your big run with no effort, but you can also do all of your small and medium and large scale experiments with no additional work. And that is the power of the Cerebrus platform. You can get to the highest quality model configurations without doing any additional work. So to think about it, on GPUs, small models are the default. So large models take increasingly more engineering effort. On Cerebrus, large models are the default, so small models are free. It's like pressing the easy button on large gen AI. But now let's talk about what people have actually done on Cerebrus and share some model results. First, an example from the medical domain, the Med42 model. With M42, a global healthcare company with over 450 hospitals and clinics around the world, we fine-tuned Llama 70B on a curated healthcare data set and passed the US medical license exam in under a single week. This model beat GPT 3.5, which is much larger in scale, and the big run itself was done in less than a weekend. Now here's an example from the multilingual domain. With our customer, the Barcelona Supercomputing Center, we developed Floor, a multilingual model that was state-of-the-art in Catalan. And because experimentation was so easy, the team was able to apply all of the latest language adaptation techniques to improve transfer learning for low-resource languages. BSC is now using this model to develop specialized RAG systems in specific domains like the legal domain. And this run also only took a couple of days. Finally, late last year, with our strategic partner, Core42, we developed JS, a 30 billion parameter bilingual by foundation model completely pre-trained from scratch. And JS is not only state-of-the-art in Arabic, but it is also extremely competitive with similar size models in English. Now, the challenge with JS was that there was a lack of high-quality Arabic language training data. And on top of that, to make it harder, most of the tokenizers of today have been trained on English corpora and so don't extend very well to Arabic. So in order to get to a high-quality model with the least amount of time and cost, which we're always trying to do, our team used the exact same iteration loop that we just talked about previously. To develop our own multilingual data set, we started with experiments at the 500 million parameter scale. And we ran many different experiments to test for the exact right ratio of Arabic, English, and code data to make sure that we had the best downstream Arabic language performance. We then selectively ran runs at the 1 billion, 3 billion, and 7 billion parameter scales so that we could get to really high confidence that this mix was the right one for our 13 billion and 30 billion parameter models. We then developed a new vocabulary optimized for cross-lingual alignment and trained a custom Arabic tokenizer to go along with it. Then with all these pieces in hand, we ran extensive hyperparameter sweeps at every model scale. And this really helped us to ensure the final model accuracy. And please don't just take it from me. Neha Gupta, principal scientist on this project, shared that it was really easy for the Core42 team to experiment at every model size and scale on the Cerebrus clusters, which they needed to do to get to the best results. They shared that there was no difference between running a job on a single system versus on multiple systems. Now, JS has actually been continuing to train on more data these last few months. And I'm excited to share that it's recently broken its own record and set a new high point in Arabic language model performance. 
JS has now been trained on 1.3 trillion tokens, and it's also available for you to access today in Core42's Hugging Face repo. But though all this language work is super exciting, the space is moving extremely quickly, and now the frontier is in multimodality. And there's been so much energy around this space. There have been new ideas and models coming out every single week. And in the true spirit of the AI community, a lot of it has been open source, so you can try the ideas out yourselves. Except that each of these ideas is in its own separate GitHub repo. It has its own way of setting up how you might train and use using a different data set. It has a different way of running evals. And so if what you want to do is get started and mix and match these different ideas, it's actually still quite a bit of overhead. And so what I'm extremely proud to share is that we've made multimodality extremely easy on the Cerebrus platform. We've developed a plug and play framework that means that you can easily experiment with multiple different image encoders like Clip or Siglith. You can experiment with multiple different LLM backbones like Mistral or Llama. We support generalized development of visual Q&A models. So with very little time, you can get set up with either one of the latest configurations from the literature, like Lava or Animal or Eyes Wide Shut, or you can develop your own. So I want to show you a model we just put together in the last couple of days. And what you can see here is that our model is able to identify what each of these coins in the image is. And it's also able to tell how much each coin is worth. Now, this is not just text-based reasoning. It's also visual semantic reasoning. And it's able to combine this information to answer these questions, even though not all of that information was in the original image. But let's give it a slightly trickier example. And you can see here that not only is our model able to identify that this is a towel folded in the shape of an elephant, but it also had no trouble seeing through the elephant's disguise. With our flexible framework, we've trained multiple different model configurations just in the last few weeks, easily reproducing recent state-of-the-art works from literature. You can see here how our runs represented in the orange bars closely match the original versions of the Lava 1.5 and the SGPT-4V models. And we didn't just match these results, we improved on them. Because it's so easy to do large model experimentation on our platform, our team tried a few different training recipe runs, and they were able to build a 7 billion parameter version of the model that is competitive with the 13 billion parameter Lava 1.5 HD, a model that is twice the size and trained on 1.7 times larger resolution image data. And you can do this, too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And the best part is that you can do this, too. Our platform makes it so easy and simple to experiment that you can get the same results on your own data. And we've made it really easy to get started with our Cerebrus Model Zoo. In the Model Zoo, we've included multiple different sample model configurations already set up to make it easy for you to configure all of these different settings. We've included multiple training recipes we've already tried. We've included data sets that have already been pre-processed for you to use. And if you have your own data, we're also going to be sharing our data pre-processing tools that have already been configured to make sure you get really high throughput training. Now, everything in the Model Zoo is usable across hardware platforms. You can use it on CPU and GPU up to a certain model size. But then, of course, because Cerebrus has a lot of memory, on the Cerebrus platform, you can also try multiple different scales of language models. You can try longer context lengths, larger image resolutions, and you can just really go to town and see what you can do. All the model checkpoints are also available on Hugging Face the 7 billion parameter model and 13 billion parameter model we just talked about are already there, and we'll be releasing a 70 billion parameter variant by the end of this month. And I'm just really excited to be sharing all of this with you because at Cerebrus, our mission is to bring state-of-the-art Gen AI to everyone. You should also have a state-of-the-art Gen AI model for your use case. 
it is accessible. And at Cerebris, we've built solutions at every layer to help you get there. We have the huge flexible compute, simple secure cloud access, and we have AI services to help take you all the way to the high quality model result. So let's talk about solutions. First, if you have your own data and you have a use case in mind, and you just want to get to a high quality model on a time and dollar budget, we can help with that. Through our Cerebrus AI model services, our ML experts will work with your team to help you build a Gen AI model. And we can do it either for you or with you. We'll help you build your vocabulary and your data set. We'll run all of the experiments to make sure you get to that optimal configuration. And we'll help handle all of the training, the fine tuning, the downstream evaluation runs. We can do RAG systems if that's what you're interested in. We can make sure that we perform alignment for your use case. And then finally, we'll deliver to your team the final trained model weights with everything that you need to get it deployed. And of course, we'll teach your team how to do it too. Our ML team has produced multiple state-of-the-art models from multilingual LLMs to healthcare chatbots to code models. And we can help you with all of the latest ML techniques so you can be confident in a high quality end result for your data and use case. And of course, whatever you build, it belongs to you. Now, if you don't need solutions and you just want the best compute for high quality Gen AI, our Cerebra supercomputers are also available both on-prem and in the cloud. And we're excited to work with your organization in any capacity that you might need and are looking forward to helping your teams also get to state-of-the-art Gen AI for your use cases. So, thank you. And with that, I'll pass it off to our SVP of product and strategy, Andy Hawk, who will be bringing on board some of our customers and partners who can share firsthand about their experiences with Cerebris. Thanks. Thank you.